You know, I'm not a fan of AOT, and I'll tell everybody why. What we are trying to do with sick people is restore them to a state of normal, to make people whole, to allow people to live lives just the same as everybody else and with their illness. But instead, what we've done is created another layer of bureaucracy, something that NAMI has spoke against many, many times. We have created a court system, which we've spoke many, many times that we are trying to keep people out of, so that people can go and be told what to do. This is not wellness, in my opinion. This is being ordered how to live by people that know better than we do. Now make no mistake, these are complex social problems. We can't just look at somebody that's sick and say, oh, we're not going to help you because we want you to operate on yourself, Mr. Person that's having a heart attack. Obviously at times you have to step in, and this is where it becomes very complex. Because knowing when to step in is equally important to knowing when to step out. This is something that the mental health system lacks. Um, I've talked to a lot of people even on this panel and they all say the same thing. If we had AOT, something better would have happened for our children. I have no idea whether or not this statement is true, but I do know this. All of them have reported that their children, uh, their family members, their loved ones, were previously hospitalized. Which says to me, they were allowed out of the hospital before they were well. This is not okay. This is where we need to put our resources. We should not be telling people, oh, you're not suicidal anymore. Leave. The role of therapy, medication, doctor's visits, hospitalization is wellness. It is to live in recovery. It is to live a good life. It is to be happy and it is to contribute. It is not to live in fear of going back. This is what we need to work towards. These are the answers. This is where we need to put our resources. Not telling people what we want them to do, but instead helping them do what we need them to. And I think that this is just often missed when we are overzealous in our desire to do anything to ease the suffering of those that we care about. I am not advocating for my loved one. I want to advocate for everybody, but I have, have to advocate for me. It is not a luxury that I have. Any failure in this is my own, not somebody else's. And this is very valuable.